There was a man from future times who was so very good. He wished to send a turkey to his friend if that he could. The problem was his friend resides upon the moon in space, and rocket ships have little room to move from place to place. All cargo must fit well within a certain spatial room. The fancy way to say it is, it must have small volume. Well, the turkey was too big, of course. It needed to be small. And so he put it in this thing, the squisher, it was called. It churned and chugged and squished the meat. The volume now was less. But our poor man soon found out the weight would not compress. And so he thought about the meat and lots of floating stuff. If I inflate it like a blimp, will it be light enough? And off he went. The inflator was just what he would need. It huffed and puffed and made it large, very large indeed. This did not change the weight at all, and it was bigger than before. And so he sat and thought and thought, and then he thought some more. I'll just send him a leg, he said, a leg, and that is it. And with a cut he chopped the meat, and so he made it fit. So off it shot into the sky, the rocket and the meat. His friend was overjoyed that such a gift was his receipt. How to respond to such a gift? How now could he repay? A cake, that's it, I'll send him that, and send without delay. Onto a scale he put the cake, its weight was A-OK. -okay. So to the earth the gift was sped, and it arrived that day. But that big cake weighed more on earth, as all things tend to do. The mass of cake remained the same, you know that that is true. But gravity pulls harder on the earth, so it weighed more. Yet while in space it weighed nothing and floated off the floor. So our poor man was forced to pay an added extra fee, because the cake had now become much, much too heavy. Remember thus, if e'er you go up to the moon, you'll see that volume is how big it is, and weight is gravity. But mass is just how much there is of anything at all. It doesn't matter if it's fat, or if it's short or tall.